my name is Alistair Burt from William Curley. So I'm uh, responsible for everything chocolatey in the business, from making sure the, sh the shops are stocked to the wholesale orders go out um, and creating and developing new products as well as training our staff. Today I'm going to show a quick uh, white chocolate flower um, which I did recently at the World Chocolate Masters competition, the UK Heats. This is going to be a very simple flower with white chocolate and sprayed a little bit pink. Um, quite realistic. We're going to start by um, tempering this white chocolate. I'm going to use the uh, microwave technique just by melting two thirds of my chocolate and then one third um, of tempered chocolate into it to seed it and then bring it to the correct temperature. So I'm just probing the chocolate just to make sure it's 45 degrees Celsius to make sure all the crystals are free. So now I'm going to add one third of the mass in tempered chocolate so that should even the temperature up. I won't add all the chocolate at once, I'll add it bit by bit because you might not need the whole mass of the one third that I'm going to add in. So I'm just going to stir until the, until the lumps are melted and hopefully we should have nicely tempered chocolates. I'm now going to make uh, the petals and I've got three different sizes of um, pipe knives. I've just got some pre-cut sheets of um, acetate. So I do this on the edge of a bench, dip the knife in. So I find one of the benefits of Calibre chocolate is its viscosity. It's great to work with for this these kind of things, centerpiece work flowers, dipping it slowly onto the plastic, lifting it up and dragging it backwards and then I want a little spike on the end. The thinner the better really, it shows more skill, um, more delicate um, and it's more like a real petal I suppose. I'm going to do different sizes now. So now I'm going to spray these petals. Um, with some purple cocoa butter. I'm going to start with the outside leaves being sprayed uh, a lighter colour than the inside leaves, so you go from light to dark. Just, just, just looks more natural and gives more lifelike. Uh, now we're going to build the chocolate flower. All the petals are sprayed and set. Um, as you can see, we've gone from the lighter ones to the middle ones, which are more darker. We've got a, a, chocolate, a white chocolate tempered disc here, which we're going to build, which is going to be our base, which we build upon. Um, and I'm going to Add the, add the leaves in a, from bigger to smaller in the middle. I've kept my white chocolate tempered from before, so it's still tempered. Just a small amount of chocolate there. Now we'll go for the second layer, and I'm just going to do it so it's in the middle of the first join. I've made some empty spheres with pink chocolate, which I'm now going to stick to the middle of the flower. I've tempered the dark chocolate in exactly the same way as the white, uh, and now we're going to pipe little stamens um, for the middle of the flower. We have these stamen that we've piped, which we're going to stick out so they come out of the flower. As many as you can, because it really looks impressive when there's a lot in there. And also going different ways, there's some different height in there. So there you go, there's the finished flower, ready to be added onto the small centerpiece. Now we're going to make some leaves to accompany the flower we just made. We're going to paint some green cocoa butter straight onto a sheet of plastic here. And using a thick brush, just paint. And then after that's dried a little bit, I'm going to brush in some uh, bronze underneath it to give it like a nice shine uh, that you'll pick up. And with a cotton wool, just go. So now that's done, we're going to add the tempered chocolate on top, spread an even layer over the top and then start cutting leaves out of it. We roll it up to give it some shape, let it set. It's really important when you cut the leaves to make sure that you're going with the same line that you painted, otherwise you get the long leaves with the, with the short bits on it instead of the longest long. We need to roll it and this gives it shape. So now we're going to assemble a very small simple piece with using the flower that we made and the leaves that we've made. Um, I've just made a little bit of um, bit of chocolate that will make it look like bark just by piping some chocolate over some material, um, then it's set, brushing it with, and then dusting it with cocoa powder just to make sure it looks like um, bark. So the centre here is just a few shapes I've put together using different types of moulds and kitchen equipment, not even, proper, not even real chocolate moulds. So we're going to stick all together with tempered chocolates. So ideally leave these for as long as possible and when you peel them off, pick out the nice ones, 
what you want to do is then is build the leaves around, create a nice shape, movement. There's the finished product, a very simple showpiece with um, a white chocolate flower and green and bronze leaves.